Did your tractor burn that? If he hits my tanker, I will be fuming. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, get the little bell of ever ring videos every Tuesday, Friday. Sometimes. We do the Sunday video, which I'm smashing at the moment. I've just wolfed my breakfast down. We've had a mad busy morning. I might even have a bit of muck on my face. I apologize for that, um, but I am a farmer. Fortunately, I had a cow go down this morning, which is an absolute nightmare, but she's up again. She's in a pen. She's doing really well. If you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, you would have seen that, but so it's a bad start, but it's, a, it's getting better. Nep is in here. We just cleaned Nep's tail. Come up. We just gave Nep a bit of a clean on his back end. We are looking at doing something with his tail, but he looks a lot better on his back end. That tail's nice and clean. Perfect. It's what we like. The morning was a bad start, but getting better. Am I going to be able to fit through it? No. Oh, I bet that's on my bag now. We are through social media, through myself, through life. We're looking at modernizing the farm as we get on and just kind of improve it, improve efficiency, improve the way we're doing things. Something that is coming, it's coming a bit sooner than we expected because of this whole COVID stuff and we don't know if it will come. They said, oh, could you take an early delivery? I was like, cool, amazing. So we are taking delivery of a new product and I've just had a phone call that is on the way. Expect a classic Tom drone footage of new product turning up. That is about to happen now. Get up. Uh, we're getting ready for Christmas. Christmas beef is going in, so it's all happening today. All the busy morning. Hopefully, I've not missed it. Which is not here yet. Get drawn up. That is right, our current diesel tank is getting a little bit tired. I think it's been there 20, 25 years. It's getting a little bit rusty, a lot of muck in it. So we've decided to upgrade our diesel tank. I know it's not a tanker, I know it's not a tractor, but this is pretty much more important. Those tractors will not go without this. So what we've got, we've gone for a Kingspan Fuel Master 5000, 5000 litre tank. Dad said we probably needed one a little bit smaller than that, but I thought you better go in a little bit bigger because in the future, in 20 years, and when I'm, I'm like 48, which is in 20 years, that's crazy. Maybe we'll have a bigger kit, maybe we'll have more land, maybe we'll do bigger things, you don't know, but you might as well do it whilst you're doing it. It's a bit bigger than I thought. Uh, which is no issue. We brought a high ab, which is great, so we can pick it off. I have been told you can lift it from the top of the bottom, which is great. But for the moment, I am actually going to put it here. And when I say here, Stephen's going to do it for me. <laughs> Stephen's just going to place it down here for me because we're not just quite ready because we took the order a bit earlier than we were thinking we were going to do it. We, we're not ready for it. I don't exactly 100% know where I'm going to put it yet. One of the ideas was next to the new Collinson silo bin. Put it next to there, but it would be out of the way. It'd be kind of tucked in there. Uh, the other idea is to put it where our existing diesel tank is. So we don't know yet. We're gonna think about it. Ginger's on his way. Looks good. Happy with it? Yeah, happy. I know you said go a little bit smaller, but it's big enough, isn't it? It's big enough. How big is it? 5,000 litres. The other thing about this, which is really, really cool, it's electric. Yeah. It's got a 56 litre per minute pump on it. Yeah. So it'll be a lot quicker than ours, because currently ours takes just a while, doesn't it? Well, ours is on gravity, isn't yeah. it? it can... To the three quarter inch pipe. And then through the nozzle, it's even slower. When yeah. we didn't have it, we used to, so this is what we used to do. We used to have no nozzle on it. I yeah. just used to open the tap and pour it in. That was quite quick when we did that. Like yeah. There was no restriction, was it? Well, it was like an inch pipe. The pipe's an inch, but it's also a three-quarter um, coupling, three-quarter inch coupling that slows it down, and the nozzle and all that slows yeah. it down. What I do like, the fact you have to look, you get, you get into it to open it so people can't pinch your diesel. Yeah, yeah, so it's got a lock that's in a, it. That's, that's oh, a, here we go. On top of everything else, we've got a safety issue on uh, rural crime and everything else, even though the gates are locked and anything, but if they came in during the day, someone could still pinch your diesel. Diesel. Fortunately, it's cheaper than it was, but one day diesel could be very expensive and yeah. it's just uh, it's a safety feature. The other advantage is, I presume this will have filters in it, does it? Yeah, 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 filters because, in it, it's bonded, it's got yeah. six meter hose on it. I mean, our tank has never been filtered off the tank since it's been put up, and when it runs empty sometimes, we get some dirt come through. It blocks your fuel filters, your tractors don't run well, you have to change your fuel filters more often because you get dirt in, and how many times have we on mowing last time, all of a sudden the fuel filters were blocking, probably because we got the, the dirtier diesel yeah, from the bottom yeah, of the tank. We won't be alone. How many farmers on a gravity thing has put a, because you run out of diesel, sleeper under it, 
Chill it up, put a brick under so you get the last little bit and you can keep going. And all the rust and the muck that's standing in that tank that's 20, 30 years old goes into a filter. And modern tractors and modern machines now, whether it be a load old combine, anything, modern engines, need a finer, cleaner yeah, fuel. Yeah, yeah. And they'll run better. They're so sensitive, they'll, aren't they? They'll run better. And that's the most important thing. If we want to upgrade with everything, there's no point upgrading than putting poor fuel in. That's yeah. what we're doing. We're upgrading, we're modernising the farm. Upgrade. It's uh, so Slowly that, but surely, one at a time. That's interesting, Stephen. Is that where you lift it up? Yeah, it's got two lifting points. Right. One here. One the just just put a bolt in the back through. corner there. Okay. I'll look big out now while you unload this, and then we can get on. Go over the road. Thank you. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Easy for a man like Stephen. Absolutely smashed it. Look at that, we've got the keys. This is what Dad really likes. Sorry, Steve, I'm getting in your way. I'm getting a bit excited about it. Sorry, it's not the cleanest yard in the world. <laughs> Apologize for that. This is what Dad really likes about the rural crime thing. It's got his own lock, it's got his own keys. So anyone who wants to come in, can't. It's obviously plastic, but it is bonded. It's light enough for us to pick up. Love stuff like this. This is me modernizing the farm. This is me improving the farm and us going forward. Right, next job to find somewhere to put it. See what's left up, keep filling that up. You know when you think, oh yeah, we need a couple of drums to fill it up. That was probably six inches of it's the, that. six is that, yeah. and this is all filled up with that. Oh. And I ran out of tops. So I did the proper cowboy way and used no glove. Someone's gonna mention be like, why didn't you just put that diesel into the new one? Well, this is gonna be nice and clean, clean inside. There's obviously gonna be some sediment in there because that has never moved. At least 30 years. The last thing we wanna do is move the sediment or have a chance of contaminating a new diesel tank. It'll be interesting when we tip it up, and we will tip it up, we'll put some in a, a jug, there's a jug down there, and just see how dirty it looks, a clean jug. It's not putting all over you, is it? Oh, we're dropping. It didn't cover the news. Dad's really keen on mixing this and getting a sample, so we'll have a look. There you go. Please do not drop it on my new tanker. Drop it on anything else but not track to a tanker. Anything machinery, don't drop it. That is the fence post that we push up when we run out diesel that we put into there so we get more diesel out of it. If you are a farmer who's used a gravity fed diesel tank and you've never done that, well, you say you've never done that. You're lying. Don't lie to yourself, don't lie to the team. We all know you've done it. Wait, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and I'll do. It's like a brown diesel that's been mixed up. It'd be all the muck at the bottom, all the sediment and the rust. Would your tractor burn that? You one wouldn't. Ugh, I didn't even smell the video. Do you think? That's a diesel. Right, so that's Dad's little bit. Book it on. So. We have had the delivery of the Kingspan. Extraction of leftover diesel, which was a lot more than we thought. Diesel tank has been taken off. And now the job is gonna be take the blocks off. Because this Kingspan is higher, it's all about doing it at this kind of level. We're gonna take the blocks off to about there or there. We're undecided, I think, here at the moment. But if we get it down to there to start with, we'll see what we're up to. We've got that as well. I'm sure it's not put on there too hard. Oh, bottles in there. It's interesting, isn't it? Here 
he hits my tanker, I will be fuming. Uh, Thomas Pemberton, I've uh, got your number from Pete. I am looking for a scrap metal bin. No, I didn't even know there was a concrete slab in there. We were going to try and leave one brick at the bottom, yeah. but it was just heavily concreted, so it doesn't make sense because that would never happen here. And a little bit dirty. A little bit dirty. So we've cleaned it up, cleaned it off a little bit, and uh, just got the phone to someone. We're getting that sorted out. Apparently, you were paying to get rid of it. Price has gone up. We're going to tidy a few bits around the farm as well, but we'll be back with this tomorrow. How much better that looks. When you get in the cleaning bug, that's going to get cleaned. Got an idea as well, but that's going to be another video. We'll be back tomorrow. These are the best ones. Those three are down in the good. Lay them up to this scrap, best we can, with a gap between them. Like a gap, that gap. Forget about laying one there. Yeah. And then maybe only three or four. See what they'll sit like. When some air gets around them and they're not on the floor, you don't, you know, you don't want the drum on that. You know, that'll probably knock off actually. Poor bloody cement, that. Nah. Who like that cement? Not me. That's the edge of the concrete. I'd book two more in the middle. Might do it. Back to me and Ted. That'll do it. Leave me with it, lads. Take off to the hole. No. Whatever, Will. Right, okay, I need one more. I did take that. No. Ah, this. Might work. Oh, come on, 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 come on. Yes! And just steadily. Okay, lift up. Steady. More important than you think. Did I just clean a diesel tank that lives outside? Yes. Is it the cleanest it'll ever be? Yes. First one to say, you missed a bit, lose this. I wanted to ring me when he came because I wanted to see it fill up for the first time. And no, you're not allowed to see my number. <laughs> Take them out. No. Who puts a foot of concrete down? No one. We have got our King Span diesel tank. It is filled up. Look at it. Look at it. She looks so good. It is filled up. Oh. Boom. Oh. So we filled it up with 2,000 litres. It's actually reading more than 2,000. We didn't zero as well, so that's 27. So it should be 2,027. Yeah, guy who just filled it up said there'll be a few bubbles in it as it, because obviously it goes in so fast. It's like 2,000 litres in what, a minute and a half. So it's pretty quick. Thing as well that, that we found really, really cool is it's filtered when we put it into our tractor. Pump works like that. You just got this. Pump is on, ready to go. Also with this, inside it has a stop start in there. When you are full of diesel, it will stop it itself, which is great because no one likes diesel on the floor, do they? It's a flow back. It's very similar to using the garages, and so it will always uh, stop it when it's full to the top of the tank. It's a fantastic looking tank, by the way. It takes no more space than our existing, and the max of it was 600 gallon tank. This is how many litres? Oh, this is 5,000. 5,000 litres. So how much was ours? A 600 gallon tank, that's all it so was. So what's that, six times four? four. 3,000 maximum. 3,000 litres. 3,000 litre tank. So it takes no more space up. Than and the, it's twice as big. And it's nearly twice as big. A, it looks tidy. The old tank rust, rust, rust and dirt. And we've seen the sample. The bottom, it's, it's, it's horrible, absolutely it? awful. And you keep using it, using it, using it. And with it being metal, you'll get condensation, particularly in the summer with a hot day through the lids and what have you. So you're going to have a certain amount of water in it. This is a lot cleaner. And with it being double skinned, you won't get the heat the same. So you'll not get the condensation in the air. So you won't get as much water in your diesel. And everyone gets water in the diesel. 
diesel that's why you have drain taps so that's a fantastic thing it's bonded it's bonded so itself it's bonded in yeah, itself. itself rather than being the old stance with a bonded inside and blocks and rendering and which is always hassle but that's all we did 30 40 years ago that's what we had to do to pass regulations so it ticks all the boxes but what i still really like about it is the, the filters you run in the big first thing he when we opened the door and I showed him. Is is that well you're running but more and more high tech stuff and fuel is very important and to get the efficiency out of the fuel you want the tractors to run well, you need clean fuel and when it be a tractor or any machine you've got now that comes on the yard, even the contractors are running higher and higher tech stuff. So you don't want to be putting dirty diesel in. in the drip drip tray there. Can I see? So that was in a drip tray. Uh, we spoke to the driver and he said that it gets filtered before it goes on, so it gets filtered when it goes off, but that was at the end of his tank yeah. so we had to use two tanks he finished at 1800 had to use the last 200 and put it in so we think that's the end there and it's got a little bit marks in there so we have an extra filter go yeah. up that yeah he sucked everything out of one tank we don't know where that is could have been in the pipe could have been picked some dirt off some of this but that would normally be in your diesel tank and you'd never ever see it you can lock it away that's the Paper big thing gun. as well the keys are still <laughs> classic farmer the keys are still there <laughs> we will be locking this up this will be locked so that. no one nicks diesel you know we got two thousand liters of diesel in here it's Which a lot of money the other one someone place. just open it up and run it off um, um, but the point is they don't give a damn once they fill what they've got they just leave the tap on the floor and let it run on the floor they're mm. not bothered whether they waste it or not then you've got you've another issue environmental issue. environmental issue the big thing yeah. as well we can see how much contractors are using when we're running it we with this pump it's going to speed up time i tell you what with the even with the hurling I mean, when it's empty you oh, are there for a good 10 15 minutes just well, waiting for it to 55 be nearly 60 50, liters 56 a, liter pump. A, a minute yeah a minute so it's got to bang some diesel in. it'd be great we should do it in further down which me and you definitely yeah. would do 10 loads of tanking with the hurling man. yeah 10 loads with the case and compare them and say fill them to the top fill them to, fill the, top. to the top as in on the deep and then fill them again and that's yeah. all you do he's got a 10 year guarantee so it's, I'm, I'm hopefully going to be filling it for 10 years time for the after this filling idea no one's climbing up a ladder and putting yeah. a thing in the top anything that saves time saves money <laughs> you know time is money and also saving waste no waste two four six so guys we are modernizing the farm a little bit the kingspan diesel tank is here speed time up make life a little bit easier makes it look a little bit cleaner around there expect a video very very soon we have something coming to sort that out finally hope you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel you get tp merch is on friday next week at 12 o'clock ginger guys happy with the new diesel tank i'm happy hope you guys are happy see you in a bit bye